Welcome to all new dental students. Uh, this is Dr. Mohammed Shamil, and today we'll be discussing and talking uh, briefly uh, an introduction to dental anatomy. And uh, this may be your first lecture in your dental school, so hopefully it will be a smooth and easy one. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at um, a very famous uh, picture which can be seen mainly in horror movies which is the skull this is the skull which is the bones of the face uh, of humans uh, what are we concerned of are two main bones uh, this bone which is also called the lower jaw uh, anatomically it is called the mandible and the upper jaw which is called the maxilla. So we have two bones which are concerned with the oral cavity, the upper jaw, maxilla, and the lower jaw, which is the uh, mandible. So if we have a look at the maxilla and the mandible, we can find that each jaw has a set of teeth. So we can call the upper teeth the maxillary teeth and we can call the lower teeth the mandibular teeth so in a nutshell we have an upper jaw we call the maxilla with with its teeth which we call the maxillary teeth and the lower jaw which is also called the mandible and the teeth are called the mandibular teeth uh, of course we can say the upper teeth the lower teeth all of these uh, expressions can be uh, said in the literature so we have a look at the mouth or what we call the oral cavity uh, if we simply draw a line like this this line uh, separates the mouth or the oral cavity into an upper and a lower part with the upper teeth and the lower teeth or as we said the maxillary and mandibular teeth how about this this line is called the midline the midline uh, also separates the oral cavity into two parts right and left but please take care when we say right and left we must be specific and we must make sure that we are talking about the patient or about a person uh, standing in front of us so what i mean is this half is the left part and this half is the right part once more this is the left and this is the right to simply recognize the right and left side you can uh, switch and make uh, uh, opposite to your direction so if this is your right hand in front of the screen so for the patient or for the person in front of you this is the left so this is your right but for the patient it's the left and the other side this is your left hand if you are pointing to the screen so the patient is uh, it's his right side uh, what happened here when we made the midline and we have a left and uh, right uh, parts and we made a line for the upper and lower we made four parts or what we call a quadrant what is a quadrant it's a quarter of the mouth how many quadrants of course there are four quadrants one two three and four but we have to name them name them is it upper or lower is it right or left so we can easily say that this is the upper right quadrant upper and right quadrant so eventually this is the lower right quadrant how about this yes it's the lower left quadrant and this is the upper left quadrant so in this picture we have the mouth or the oral cavity with four quadrants each which with its unique name uh, upper lower right or left okay uh, 
the, these these quadrants uh, these quadrants are four in each oral cavity as we said and they are named according to their position either upper or lower and either right or left okay so basically humans and specifically humans have two sets of dentitions what do i mean by dentitions dentitions are a set of teeth so how many sets of teeth do you have or how many sets of dentition do humans have they are two one set uh, we commonly say for the children and another set for the adults uh, let's be more scientific let's get into more details the children teeth uh, are also named deciduous teeth milky teeth primary teeth or temporary teeth they are different names for the children teeth the most common uh, name is the deciduous it's uh, it's the most commonly used in dentistry it is the deciduous teeth so how about the adults for the adults we can call them the adult teeth or most commonly the permanent teeth so for children we call them the deciduous teeth for uh, adults we call them the permanent teeth are there uh, any differences between uh, both sets yes of course there are many differences let's first uh, have a look at the deciduous teeth or the child teeth okay have a look at this mouth and the oral cavity uh, as we did before we we're doing a midline and so we have the left side and the right side okay and also we're doing a line separating the upper jaw and the lower jaw and as we said we have four quadrants as a rule you must know you must know that every quadrant is identical to the other quadrant in terms of number of teeth so if i told you that the uh, deciduous teeth in total in all the mouth is 20 teeth total of 20 teeth so in each quadrant we have five teeth so once more totally they are 20 in number 20 teeth in number so in every quadrant they have five teeth each quadrant the five teeth it contains is the same as the other quadrant the same name how let's see the five teeth in any quadrant of the deciduous teeth the first one in the center of the face in the center of the teeth is a very important tooth that we call the central incisor it's easy to recognize because it's in the center of the face so we have the first tooth in our five teeth it's called the central incisor what is the meaning of the incisor incisor means simply it's incising or tearing food it's the first uh, teeth to be used for cutting or tearing the food so this is the first tooth in our five teeth central incisor next to it we have another incisor another tooth used for tearing food we call it the lateral incisor so we have two incisors a central incisor in the middle and beside it lateral to it is the lateral incisor these are two incisors okay how about the third tooth this tooth is called the canine canine which is a very sharp teeth uh, this term canine is is taken from the name uh, the latin name of dogs dogs in latin are called canine which have a very sharp teeth so we call it the canine and we have only one canine in each quadrant so central incisor lateral incisor and canine these are three teeth in this quadrant 
the remaining two teeth are called molars molars which are used for grinding teeth so simply we call the first molar the first molar and the last one is the second molar so in each quadrant of the deciduous teeth we can find five teeth central incisor lateral incisor a canine and then first molar and second molar for this quadrant how about this quadrant it is the same central incisor lateral incisor canine first molar and second molar and so on for this quadrant and for this quadrant so how many central incisors are there in all the oral cavity yes it's four how this is a central incisor for this quadrant and for this quadrant there is a central and for this central and this central we have four central incisors. so simply each quadrant is identical to the other in the terms of naming the teeth as each other okay this is the complete uh, picture of the teeth central incisor lateral incisor and the canine first molar and second molar this quadrant the same for the other quadrant and the same for the quadrants of the lower teeth with the same uh, names of the teeth okay so uh, summarizing the deciduous or the primary dentition they are total 20 in number so we have 10 maxillary and 10 mandibular teeth okay and for each quadrant there is five these five teeth are two incisors central and lateral one canine and two molars which are the first and second molars so how about the adult teeth or as we prefer to say the permanent teeth we will do the same we have four quadrants uh, the total number of teeth in all quadrants is 32 the total is 32 so for each quadrant how many teeth do we have 32 divided by 4 8 so we have 8 teeth in each quadrant for the adult teeth as opposed to 5 in the deciduous okay what are the eight teeth for the adult simply we will start the same as before we have the central incisor in the center of the mouth beside it we have the lateral incisor and next the sharp one is the canine so as a start it is exactly the same uh, names of the deciduous teeth central incisor lateral incisor and then the canine okay this is three out of eight how about the rest of the teeth these five teeth okay we'll take it from behind from the last three ones the last molars we will call the first molar first and then the second molar and the last tooth is the third molar or as we like to call it sometimes the wisdom tooth so we have central incisor lateral incisor and canine the same then just for now we're skipping these two and then taking the three molars at the end of the mouth first molar second molar and the and the wisdom tooth which is the third molar how about this oh these missing teeth they are teeth before the molars they come before the molars so we call them the premolars and because they are two so you have a first premolar and a second premolar their location is just before molars before which is pre so we call them the premolars so overall in the adult teeth we have eight teeth in each quadrant as a start it's the same as before central incisor lateral incisor and canine followed by two premolars the first premolar and the second premolar and and then 
three molars first second and third molar which is the wisdom tooth so as we said for the adult or the permanent dentition they are total 32 in number 16 for each jaw 16 maxillary or upper and 16 mandibular for the lower for each quadrant we have eight teeth two incisors one canine two premolars and three molars so for the deciduous teeth we have 20 in total five in each quadrant for the adult we have 32 in total and eight uh, in each quadrant please make sure to read this sentence where we say that the permanent molars are not preceded with deciduous teeth what do i mean by this uh, we have five deciduous teeth are going to be replaced by five permanent teeth which five permanent teeth the two incisors will replace the two deciduous incisors the permanent canine will replace the deciduous canine the two premolars will uh, were preceded by the deciduous molars how about the three molars no they just come up alone so they are not turned uh, successors and they are non successors so the non successor teeth are the permanent molars okay now we come to a summarizing for the past information which is the dental formula the dental formula it is a formula which simply uh, describes the number of each type of teeth for each quadrant in a site once more as this uh, picture is shown to you this is the profile of a skull we have the a quadrant of the lower jaw and a quadrant of the upper jaw we want to know how many incisors are there for the this quadrant and for this quadrant um, how many canines for the upper and the lower quadrant how many premolars and how many molars for the upper and the lower quadrant so simply for the deciduous teeth we write the dental form formula as follows I which stands for incisors how many incisors are there in a quadrant of the upper and a quadrant of the not both quadrants only one quadrant one quadrant for the upper and one quadrant for the lower how many incisors they are two central incisor and lateral incisor upper and another central and lateral incisor lower for a quadrant so once more it's not all the incisors no it's the incisors for one quadrant for the upper jaw and one quadrant for the lower jaw this line represents the separation between the upper and the lower jaw so this is the incisors the next how many canines in a quadrant in the upper and a quadrant in the lower we have one and one so we write it as a C, 1 over 1. For the deciduous teeth, we have incisors, canines, and directly we have molars, which are 2 for each quadrant of the upper and 2 for each quadrant of the lower. How many teeth are total? This are, these are 10 teeth. So once more, for the deciduous teeth the dental formula is i 2 over 2 c 1 over 1 and m 2 over 2 which equals 10 once more how did we get this formula we calculate for a quadrant only one quadrant for the upper and only one quadrant for the lower how many incisors how many canines and how many molars and then the total number of teeth in this uh, formula the same will 
be done for the permanent teeth. Uh, the beginning is of course the same yes we have incisors 2 and 2 the canines 1 over 1 and then we get a new type of teeth which is the premolars we have 2 and 2 in each quadrant and then the molars they are 3 over 3 and the total of this formula is 16 so this is the dental formula for the deciduous and the permanent teeth. This can also be done for grouping of teeth. What do you mean by grouping? Is it's just a grouping according to the location of the teeth. The teeth that can be easily seen from the face of any person, we can call them the anterior teeth which are the central incisor, the lateral incisor, and the canine, whether deciduous or permanent, it doesn't make a difference. These are anterior teeth, anterior, which we mean in front, they are in the front of the teeth. Which teeth are they, once more, central incisor, lateral incisor, and the canine. How about the rest of the teeth? We must open our mouth to see them we call them the posterior teeth so we have two groups of teeth anterior or posterior anteriors are till the canine the central incisor lateral incisor and the canine and the rest of the teeth whether premolars or molars we call them the posterior teeth because they are in the back of uh, our oral cavity uh, this is a brief uh, description for the anterior teeth this is the central incisor it's a very wide tooth uh, similar to it but a little bit smaller is the lateral incisor and then the canine which is a very sharp tooth and these are called the anterior teeth how about posterior premolars which somehow looks like a canine but a little bit smaller and has a wider surface area for crunching and grinding uh, teeth and molars which are the biggest uh, teeth that we have they have a very big surface area for grinding and crushing the, the, the food before uh, swallowing any of it so uh, the last thing in this part are the periods of dentition what do we mean by the periods of dentition uh, when does the deciduous uh, dentition start and when does it end the permanent uh, teeth the permanent dentition when does it when does it start and when does it end so we have to know this information because it will help us uh, furthermore in our uh, next chapters the deciduous dentition or the primary dentition starts from six months of age till six years what do you mean by start and the end it means that the first uh, deciduous tooth to emerge or to erupt or to be obvious in our oral cavity it will start at six months uh, old which is the lower central incisor so the first deciduous tooth to erupt is the lower central incisor at six months old and uh, eventually the upper central incisor the lower lateral incisor etc etc till all teeth are uh, present and they continue to be present in our oral cavity till the age of six years so if we get any child uh, one years two years old four years or five years old or six years old if we open his mouth we can only find the deciduous dentition or the primary dentition where all 20 teeth are present this information must not be uh, confused with other information which is that the uh, primary tooth uh, the first primary tooth to erupt is the lower central incisor at six months as we said and then the last primary tooth to emerge is the upper second deciduous molar at about 
two years old but they will continue all of these teeth to be present till six years so once more the first primary tooth to erupt at six months the last one at two years and then they continue all 20 till six years afterwards we have the permanent dentition what do you mean by the permanent dentition if we open the adult mouth or any one of 12 years or more we can find only permanent teeth it's from 12 years till the end of uh, his life or the end of the tooth anyway so it will be from 12 years till the end in between from six years to 12 years we have some sort of mixed dentition mixed dentition it means we have some primary teeth present and at the same time we have some permanent teeth present which starts at six years till 12 years at 12 years all deciduous teeth will be gone and be replaced by the permanent teeth and we then enter the permanent dentition period so we have three periods of dentition the primary period the mixed dentition period and the permanent dentition period these three periods are present in humans since birth till the end of life this was briefly the introduction to dental anatomy and please wait for the next video for the tooth numbering systems thank you so much for your attention